Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Shooting Sports. Taking a look at the Airsoft side of things with a new CQB oriented AEG from Lancer Tactical. This is the Proline Battlehawk PDW. These are available in a couple of different colors and a couple of different velocity specs. Uh, but I was approached by Lancer Tactical and asked if I'd like to take a look at one of these and I said, you know, hey, when I do play, I do play more CQB style and this would probably be a good fit for me. So the version that we are looking at today, this is going to be the full metal body, however, the uh, low velocity model. So this should be shooting under 350 feet per second. We're gonna do a second video where we actually take a look at the performance of this as well as uh, the internals, but for now we're just doing kind of an external overview on this airsoft replica. We'll start at the tip and work our way to the very interesting PDW style stock. Up front, you'll notice that this has a short barrel and a short hybrid style handguard. It has both M-lock components at the three, six, and nine positions, and you do have Picatinny rails on the size, the three and nine o'clock, and a small one here on the front. You don't have one on the middle, so if you're going to add a foregrip or something like this, either it's going to be a hand stop, you know, very far forward, or you're gonna to need to go M-lock with this. Uh, but it is a lightweight, free-floating handguard, very skeletonized in design, including the top, you can see there, and is a pretty slick uh, little setup. Uh, it has a large, uh, delta ring, but barrel nut assembly, excuse me, and it is secured using these three clamping screws with anti-rotation lugs, which slide over the upper receiver. Um, and it is on there quite solid. I haven't had any issues with it thus far. It does come equipped with an orange plastic flash hider, which I removed for some uh, photo shoot reasons. And um, underneath that are standard 14 millimeter negative threads. So you can add muzzle device, um, suppressor, uh, tracer unit, whatever you'd like on there. Up front, we do have a flip-up sight which comes included with the kit. We'll take a look at those in just a second. This is the metal body version, um, the Proline series, and they do have, like I said, a metal body. It is a standard AR style metal body, which does have some custom Lancer tactical markings there and there. You may notice this spot here is a little bit shinier than most. Um, that's because this had one of those big warning stickers on it um, about, you know, don't shoot at people, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and when I took it off, it um, left some residue and I used some goof off and that I think took off some of the matte clear coat on top. So use a little caution if you're removing that little sticker and companies, companies, Lancer Tactical, please put stickers on it, on their, on your guns that do not leave residue. Vinyl is a fantastic option for this, but it's always kind of a pain in the butt having to chase off some of that uh, residue from stickers um, would make all of our lives that much easier. As part of the receiver, you will see this very nice flat face CMC style trigger. Um, it is mildly serrated at the front and just feels quite nice. You know, has a good feel. This is an AEG, so you're not exactly worried about, you know, a super lightweight trigger break. These things are all pretty much the same trigger weight anyways, uh, but it is a nice aesthetic as well as functional touch. You have an extended um, trigger guard here below, which makes it a little bit easier to use with gloves and a very nice, actually this is one of the nicer um, AG grips that I've used. It looks kind of just like your standard run of the mill, um, you know, grip that you'd be seeing on any AG in the last couple of years, but this one, it just, whether it's the design or whether it's uh, the material that they use, it just feels, it feels nice. It's hard to um, objectify something like that and you know, put a label on why it feels nice, but it just feels nice. You do have a flathead adjustable motor base and a heat sink motor grip. Um, your charging handle does have an extended latch on there and pulling that back will access the rotary style hop up. There does not appear to be a bolt Catch on this, so if you got pull it open, just your hop up and go. Stock on this is what really interested me. I love ARs with PDW style stocks, and this is no exception. This guy 
is made with metal and polymer components and acts as the battery compartment for your gun. To, when it is in its closed position, you can see how short that is. Um, it's about six inches long sticking out the back of the receiver. You've got the two um, stock tubes, stock rails, if you will, um, that go over the, the receiver. You have built-in quick detach sling ports. However, there were no sling mounts included in my box, so that's something you need to keep an eye on if you want to add a sling to this. And it is very easy to adjust. The back of the stock, this is a uh, polymer butt pad. You see some good texturing here to keep it tucked into your shoulder, as well as something on the cheek. Um, I mean, your cheek's not, not too worried about your cheek sliding off of this thing, but hey, it's there and it looks nice. To extend it, switch this around. You see this little button right here on the bottom? Just press it and it locks it and allows you to extend it to any position. Unlike some PDW stocks, it is not spring released. So it doesn't just pop out, you know, when you push the button. So if you're on the go and you need to quickly deploy it, your best bet is probably gonna be to reach underneath, press that button from beneath and kind of give it a little kick out and then you are extended and ready to shoot except for there we go <laughs> and you are extended and you are in a ready to shoot position uh, the length of pull on this is pretty good it's about where i'd like it to be for a cqb oriented replica and the thing just feels quite nice as you can see you do have an extended buffer tube that sticks out the back but really all this functions on aeg is for your your battery storage that's where this gets a little interesting because you think that this would be attached somehow. There'd be a pin or an unscrew or something and it just kind of pulls out. As you can see, it has a double O-ring retained system and an okay sized um, battery compartment. With the Pro-Line models on Lancer Tactical, these do com complete with a MOSFET or an, an electronic uh, trigger unit. So it's a micro switch trigger and they do come set up with Dean's plugs from the factory, which is quite nice. So if you need to do a battery change, you just kind of pull that off, and put it back on. Um, if you have an issue happen with the battery, LiPo batteries by their very nature are a little volatile. So you may bump into something like that. You may want to quickly get a battery out of your gun and that lets you do it pretty quickly without having to do any, take anything off. So I'm kind of of two minds on that whole point. I like this to be a little bit more secure, but it's long enough in the double O-rings. Really, this isn't going to accidentally fall out in the field. It's just a little wobbly, and I just like a smidge more security, but that's just me. Um, you can remove this stock completely. So you'll notice if you press the main button, it does not come off all the way. To remove it completely, you press this secondary button here. It's kind of tricky to do at this angle. And then that pushes it just a smidge further and allows you to remove the stock completely if you wish to run it that way or just for full disassembly of the gun. It's kind of a two-hand affair there. Uh, your sights are flip-up polymer units. Front one flips up fine, the back one Mine requires a little bit more oomph because the latch that holds it is a little bit more secure uh, than the front one. So you kind of press it down and there you go. And these are adjustable for windage and elevation. So overall, that is your external look at this um, AG from Lancer Tactical. These guys are available in a wide variety of configurations, long, short, key mod, M-lock, standard Picatinny rails, normal carbine stocks, PDW stocks, and their prices are gonna vary. This guy was priced around $188. So in the next video, we're gonna take a little bit closer look at its performance and its internals to see if it might be worth that $188 cost. So many thanks to you guys for watching these videos, keeps us around, and many thanks to Lancer Tactical for sending this over. Look forward to seeing how this thing performs, how it does in my uh, backyard shooting tests, which are pretty standardized at this point, and, you know, just to see how the guts look. So stay tuned for that video coming up in the next week or so. Thanks for watching.